Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick observational video and a little review of the latest build of Windows 10, build 14926. And this was released today, September 14th, around 1 p.m. Eastern Time, North America. And uh, it's the latest build in the Redstone 2 builds. First, um, one of the reasons why it took two weeks before we had a new build is that last week there was an upgrade of the Insider team in uh, Microsoft. So basically, they were updating not only uh, the machines, but the software, the way that they're gathering data about the Insider builds. And so uh, it, um, before they could you know, release a new build and have information coming in and data coming in, they had to actually make sure that everything was all right. So today we had our first build in two weeks. Uh, this is another Redstone 2 build, of course. Redstone 2 will come um, to pretty much everybody's PCs uh, somewhere around March or April of 2017. Installation went super well. I mean, it installed flawlessly. Uh, you know, since the beginning of the Redstone 2 builds, no problems with install went well took about an hour and then you know i was back on my desktop with my usual stuff now this is my main computer now uh, for my 50 inch screen so uh, it has to work and uh, i'm taking a little chance here and dedicating this to my insider machine uh, basically after the install, everything was working well. I worked with it for about five hours, a good five hours. Uh, you know, it was my main computer for the last five hours just to see if it was rock solid and worked well. And it does seem to be very rock solid. Everything seemed to be working perfectly. So there's a few things that are interesting in this build. One is, uh, so first of all, if you're looking for features, uh, we'll talk about two features or three features maximum that are uh, interesting uh, or you know one that I will show you but the rest will be mostly like well they're doing this is happening and this is happening um, so you know not a lot to talk about mostly I will be talking about what's good and what's bad in this build uh, but still a few new features but not a lot of them the first one and that's an interesting one is in edge there's something now that is added to edge with which is called snooze so you know uh, i don't know i I'm, I'm the kind of guy that uses a lot of tabs so basically i go on and open a tab and i open a website and a tab and i often have three four five tabs open and maybe there's something happening in one tab and you want to actually you know you'd, you'd like to be notified to go back to that tab when it's time to go back. Now you can right click on a tab and go down and there's something called snooze. And here you can remember to whatever, you know, uh, uh, something about a person, a place, or what time. And so I'm gonna just add one here. I'm gonna say remember to go back to space weather. And then I'm going to say, I want to have this at this notification at uh, 7.38 p.m. We are now 7.35. And do just a little check mark here. Now it says, okay, today only once. Of course, you can have it another day. You can have it every day and so on. And you click remind. Now that's cool because, for example, you might have something tomorrow at a certain time happening on a certain website and you want to have a reminder so you can add a reminder and it's pretty cool and uh, it is amazing uh, it's a nice little interesting feature I gotta say it's a nice feature so uh, here it goes we've added this and we're gonna continue on so other things that are new here is uh, the pin if you're using a pin at logging in I use a pin at logging in to my computer and you know what one of the most annoying things that I hate about the pin I always have to remember to turn on the num lock key you know I would have to go to the BIOS on my computer which most people don't know how to do anyways and never want to go and remember to you know just add the feature to saying well you gotta you know just 
turn on the num lock key every time. Well, now when you enter a pin at the lock screen, it's always on. And that is probably the best feature that I find for this build. Uh, other things, upgrade experience is changed. Now, starting for this build, you know, a lot of people complain about that, uh, even to me. Hey, I install builds all the time and settings change and apps that I have removed are back. And well, you know what? They are now going to stay the same. If you've removed the core app, say the news app, it's going to stay removed. It's not going to actually come back every time you install a new build. So that is also an improvement upon the upgrade process. Uh, the usage of Windows 10 is fantastic. It hasn't crashed or anything. And I gotta say that it, um, the Redstone builds since they've started are pretty rock solid. Yeah, there are bugs, and I'm gonna talk about all the bugs and all the things that are right or not. Uh, but you know what? Uh, this is rock solid. So here now, what you see on the bottom right is that snooze. It says, hey, um, you, you wanted to go back to this. So you can click here and go back to your, uh, to, you know, you can click and go back to your tab. You can do whatever you want. But what's even more interesting is that you don't see this, but that reminder of going back to a tab or to a website with uh, Edge actually appeared also on my main computer that I have right next to me. And so all the machines that have Windows 10 in my home that are on this account all had the, hey, you want to go back to spaceweather.com right now. So you want to do this or not? And then you can say it's complete or not. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's an interesting feature. I really like that. Uh, I got to say that, uh, you know, it's an unusual feature, but I could see myself using this in the future. Now, this build, does it have bad things, good things? Of course, like every build of uh, Insider Previews. Uh, there's, uh, first of all, the fixed issues. If you had an issue with Adobe Acrobat Reader, fixed. Acrobat Reader works now. Uh, issues in the settings and personalization. I had that appear a few times. You'd go to settings, you'd go to personalization, it would crash, it's fixed. Uh, improved scaling of games, so for full screen, that's pretty good. Uh, fixed issue where Windows icons and text are not rendered correctly on some devices with Intel Atom. The um, also fixed issues where people would experience a blue screen when plugging on plugging Kindles, for example. Uh, build improvements, um, improves the performance of websites with changes to large numbers of HTML elements uh, containing text by improving spell checker efficiency. Address large cause, uh, largest cause of reliability issues in Microsoft Edge running insider preview builds. This should improve reliability on major websites such as Facebook, Outlook. Fixed issues rendering uh, certain links like Facebook. Uh, sometimes the icons in the tabs were not showing correctly. So when you go to a website. Uh, fixed issues where it prevented wireless network adapter on Surface devices not working correctly. They fixed an issue where the icon in the taskbar does not show the real signal strength. I've had that happen because this computer is in a different room than the router. And sometimes when it's a little slow, I, I suspect that it could be bad signal, but the icon always shows maximum. Apparently that is fixed in this um, build. Uh, also fixed an issue where File Explorer's open command window here, context menu option was opening uh, set to the uh, system 32 path rather than a des desired directory. They fixed an issue potentially resulting in taskbar no longer auto hiding in full screen mode. So a few things here. Are there issues? Yes, there are issues. Narrator with groove music might get stuck telling you only and always the number of seconds and minutes uh, of the song that's playing. You may experience black screen when signing out and switching to another, another user account. That was also in the last build, by the way. So it's an issue that's ongoing right now. Uh, just reboot the PC if that happens. If you switch an, to another user account and the screen stays black. 
uh, optional components may not work after upgrading to this build. To get it working again, you gotta turn Windows features on or off, scroll down, choose uh, you know the feature and so on, and just restart to enable it again. Uh, on some computers, calculator might not work. Now I've uh, I've uh, tried it here. It seems to be working for me, but it seems that calculator might not work for some of you. If you're using calculator, uh, go back to the store, re-download it, and it should fix the issue here uh, for people. And finally, keyboard users using the tab to navigate settings, that's not gonna work, and it is not working well. I tried it here. So, you know, for those users that know, a tab can be used to go through the different options in Windows. So here, when I press tab, you see it doesn't really seem to do much. And uh, that's because it should go to different options uh, and not just stay put from time to time. So now it worked a little better, but uh, sometimes it gets stuck, sometimes it doesn't respond. So uh, that's not working if you ever need to do that. Apart from that, pretty much everything is working well. Um, you know, another, another good build, I think, uh, with the regular issues going on. And of course, as we continue using it, we'll learn more and more. Um, if you are an insider, I would like to hear from you. What do you think of this build, personally? What is good? What is wrong? Have you been able to install it? Do you have problems? Um, what do you think? Uh, as we're going on slowly over the Redstone builds of Windows 10. So uh, this was pretty much my observations. So to get this build, once again, you gotta be a Windows insider. You gotta be in the fast ring. So you gotta be one of those that, you know, is ready to experience bugs that could happen. Uh, and you'll have it as of today, September 14th. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching our channel.